Hello guys, this is Fleep and uh, today I've got a tutorial that quite a few of you requested and this is an ESP tutorial for um, Counter-Strike Source and um, yeah, let's start with the usual stuff I'm going to start off by demonstrating the hack in action and then telling you what you're going to what you're going to be able to do yourself so this tutorial was something I wasn't really going to do not for a bit longer but quite a few guys were interested in seeing this and um, as you guys know, you ask and I try to deliver, so this is it. So, I'm just going to start here by creating a server. And, as I mentioned, I think I may have mentioned to a couple of you guys, this is quite an easy thing to do. I'm only doing this for those of you that really want me to go over it. Um, as I know a lot of you guys would ca be capable of doing this from the aimbot tutorial. So, um, for those of you that were interested, here it is. So, I'm just going to start the game. Uh... Turn on SV cheats, and then I'm going to kill the bots so they don't move because they're quite annoying. And I'm going to take off the sound because I don't want to get into trouble with the internet. Fuck off the sound. All right, all right, that's good. So here we are. Uh, now you should be able to hear me nicely. Just doing a little screen recording check. All right, so I'm just going to turn on the hack now. The first thing that you'll see here. Uh, just checking this quick. Uh, yeah, the first thing you see here, this hack isn't the exact hack that you will do. Um, well, I guess the only difference will be the drawing method. And I'll explain why I chose a different drawing method for the tutorial. So, here's an overlay. And here we are on the thingy. Uh, there we go. So, there's the beginning of that. So, I've chosen... So, I'm just wondering, perhaps making this quite slow which is strange, 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 strange uh, that's fine, yeah here we go, so that's it um, sorry about that, Fraps is somehow seems to be interfering, interfering with the overlay so it took a while to show those but don't worry about that, so as you can see first thing here you see snap lines going from my distance to the enemy brilliant stuff, you also see an ESP box around the enemy which is also beautiful stuff and you also see a distance between me and the enemy now I wanted to have three types of things and I wanted to make sure I show you an example of drawing uh, drawing text I mean so there's a distance there you can do the names yourself if you like all you need to do is access the radar struct uh, in CSS I want to do ESP box because it's incredibly famous and everyone likes to have it so that's just a, a little rectangle being drawn um, or four lines I guess being drawn and then I also wanted to cover the snap lines which I think they're underused in my opinion as I think they're really cool and they're like a connection between you and the enemy and it, they can help you shoot sometimes for example like that and yeah that's pretty much it now um, one thing no I'll, actually I'll get to that in a second um, so yeah this is pretty much it you you will know wherever your enemies are at all times one thing you'll notice with uh, Counter-Strike though as you may have seen in the other tutorials on things like when you when you go to the second round and things like that you'll have uh, uh, locations being stored but that's um, from the previous round which can give you a little bit of a buggy visuals but then that's just something that happens in CSS and it doesn't happen elsewhere in my experience uh, it's just it, it tends to take a while for the enemies to be recognized by you so I'm just clean these guys out um, one thing I'll say is I do have fuck's sake why did I get this pistol I do have a namebot linked for this example here I will not be doing the namebot for this tutorial because I've covered it already in the previous ones um, but uh, yeah I think that's pretty much it I'm just gonna get a cool weapon for a second uh, so I'm gonna go here to my notes now just to go over how this works so you see more or less so you see it took a little while there boom they're back in business um, you'll be able to do quite a few things now the way you're seeing this being drawn here is through an overlay using DirectX now the last time I did a, an ESP tutorial with DirectX um, sorry it wasn't ESP it was the camps tutorial a lot of people had trouble getting DirectX to work now we'll be using GDI for this tutorial and if you don't know what that is that's just a, a very simple way of drawing with Windows uh, and almost everyone can do it it's fairly slow but once you've done it and you have it working you can move on to to a DirectX version that works for you so I'll, let, I'll leave that up to you because that's a fairly easy part and you can see a lot of samples online for it so 
I'm gonna actually make the bots run a little bit so you guys can see this in action. Uh, so bot stop zero. So oh shit. There you go. So, so let them run around a little bit. So as you can see it. One thing it does is it adjusts to the enemies according to uh, your distance. That's something a lot of people don't talk about. And I remember when I coded my first ESP, I had the, the rectangle around the player. What do you think you're doing? The rectangle around the player. Fuck's sake. Can't kill him. I need to work on the height there. Oh, fuck, oh, fuck. Please don't kill me. Fuck's sake. You nearly killed me. Anyways. Um, one of the things that you don't think about is uh, the way the rectangle expands quite a lot based on the distance between you and the enemy and that's something we'll cover as well so the idea behind this tutorial is to go over is to go over the basics of create, creating a name bot I will be skipping a few very small steps um, and uh, I want you to know that this is kind of a rush job I did this tutorial in about two three days so it is a bit of a rush job but uh, I think it's fairly easy to understand um, yeah, see, see how quick that guy died yeah it's fairly easy to understand and um, yeah I will be skipping a few very small parts and I want you to know as well that I will be redoing a tutorial like this in a sim simpler game because CSS is a little bit difficult especially for you beginners out there to do an ESP for so I will be uh, creating a tutorial 100% dedicated to ESP um, later on I don't know exactly when but it won't be too far away in time um, and the reason why I'm doing again this in CSS is because a lot of you guys actually requested and there was a comment that had you know quite a few amount of thumbs up and uh, I thought that would be useful to cover that as you guys obviously asked for it so see there's a guy coming up here and he's quite easy to kill so if I just crouch down I might be able to kill that guy actually I can't shoot through the window through the door yeah so that's pretty much it um, make sure I cover everything so yeah the only difference between my drawing method and yours will be that uh, yours will flicker a tiny bit at first but like I said you can change this to your own overlay later on um, yeah so let's just get on with this I'm gonna explain quickly how this works uh, and um, and yeah we'll move on so I'm gonna stop the bots again because they're just being annoying now um, is there a bomb? oh shit there's a bomb fuck's sake I'm gonna lose this round so basically the way this works is um, like I said, this is an extension to the aimbot tutorial, so we are we are re reusing a lot of the code from there, especially um, especially the the player addresses and the enemy addresses. So all that's being reused, and I'm about to die actually because yeah, there you go. Um, so a, lo a lot of that code's being reused. Um, oh, that's interesting. I never saw that on fire before, and. Um, yeah, so I highly recommend you go back and check out the trigger bot and aimbot tutorials first. So if especially if you're new at this guys, it's incredibly important. Otherwise you'd just be copying my code and you probably won't understand it. But as usual it's hundred percent up to you. I will put um I'll put a um an annotation for the trigger bot and aimbot tutorial now. Hopefully my video editing skills would have put that in place. Um and um yeah, like this tutorial, like I said, um, will give you quite an idea of how an ESP works and how an ESP is supposed to be done. At least, uh, a not not too complex version of it, but not straightforward, not too simple either. So, you know, it's a very useful thing. Um, yeah, so just to let you know the logic of this, so ESP stands for Extra Sensory Perception, um, and we use this normally to just draw boxes around players. That's normally what an ESP stands for. And as you can see, the Extra Sensory Perception part comes from being able to see through walls uh, and everything like that so it's just giving you that major advantage um, of seeing when the enemy is coming at you before he knows you're there so that gives you a lot of a nice well a, a very nice advantage um, so we're gonna find uh, we're gonna loop through the enemy's data and then draw uh, that's the simplest version of it anyway we're gonna loop through the enemies and draw boxes around them okay obviously there's a lot more work into that but that's the overview of it um, um, yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to loop through enemies, um, pass pass their information through a world to screen function, which I have to credit Solbait for, um, and this was uh, something he created quite a while back, so credits to him for that, thanks, thanks for that. Um, and yeah, so if you're one of those people that's really good at maths, then you'll be able to do your own world to screen. I am not that good at maths, so I try and avoid doing that. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to get on with the tutorial, I'll probably wasted a ton of time like an idiot doing this initial intro, but that's life. So let's get on with the tutorial now. 
uh, you will see a, a file in the description if you're on YouTube or on my site uh, you will see an attachment and that file will be an ESP template and what that will have is a lot of the information uh, from the previous tutorials and a couple of very new things um, which I will explain as we go along so make sure you download that file and open that in Visual Studio either 2008, 10 or 12 they should all work although I can't guarantee for 2008 so I recommend you have 2010 try both I'm sure it'll be fine so download that template and that's what we will start working from so let's move on to that okay so the first thing I'll ask you to do is to open the uh, CSS ESP tutorial template file and I think I've got two of them open already like a dumbass so here's my one and that's what you should start with okay um, just making sure everything's okay yeah that seems about right yeah so you should start with this now a couple of things that I'm gonna take you through uh, just so you know that we aren't I'm not bringing a load of new code without you knowing so there's a, a couple of things I've added from the previous tutorials now what you see here a few of these variables are, are new and all they're doing is um, if I move down a little bit more yeah so as you can see here I've got draw field rectangle draw border box draw line and all these functions are uh, they, they're part of the GDI um, external drawing from uh, Windows and they're one of the simplest ways to draw and I've used this in a previous uh, video and all that I'm using it for is so that everyone can be able to draw onto their screen. Now a lot of you guys will say, oh this is really slow and it flickers. Yes, like I said earlier, it will happen, but this is just so you can make it work. If you can get it to work right now, then um, later on you can change to a DirectX hook and draw it that way where it will be incredibly smooth compared to this. So uh, the, on the overlay you saw I used the DirectX overlay, which is really good, and you, you guys can do it in a hook, in an overlay late, later on, anything like that. What I don't want to do is use a specific library that... I don't know, 20% of you guys can use and then everyone else is screwed over. So I want to make sure everyone can access uh, or at least have a way to draw on screen. So we will be using GDI for this. And then later on all you have to do is replace your draw uh, box function, draw line function. Those are really easy and they'll only take 5 minutes. Especially if you go online and get some more source code. So please, please don't leave a comment saying, oh GDI is really slow and it's like, for fuck's sake. I know it's slow but it's just so you guys can, as many of you can get this working possible so that's the idea and I don't want anyone to be stuck along the way so that's what this is here for so draw string obviously draws a bit of text for us draw line we use to draw a snap line from point A to point B um, in both X and Y uh, draw border box that's what we use to draw um, our, our box around the player so it's basically four rectangles so as you can see here it draws four rectangles so rectangle one rectangle two rectangle three and rectangle four they're basically each of them is a line and then draw figure rectangle which we use to do a lot of this stuff as well um, read information all this is from previous tutorials playlist which we use to loop through the enemy and, and get their information and and then local player information as well uh, which is all our own important stuff um, so this bit of text here is something that you won't see on yours it's uh, actually yeah, I'll leave it it's fine this is something we use to get the world to screen matrix which we use to pass to our world to screen function in order to um, get our 3d coordinates into 2d coordinates okay so that's that so what first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into cheat engine and this is going to be a fairly fast process um, actually did I mention things you need for this tutorial yeah I'll just go over them quickly so things that you need for this tutorial are Counter-Strike or any other source game, I highly recommend Counter-Strike for this one because some of the things that I'm going to do are specific to Counter-Strike. Um, a copy of the ESP source tutorial, so the template that I've put in the description, make sure you download that um, as you won't have this version on the previous aimbot or triggerbot tutorial, so make sure you download that. Obviously Visual Studio, like I said, uh, I'd recommend 2010 or 2012. Um, an enabled console for CSS, I don't think that's necessary well I guess it is necessary for this one so go over my previous tutorials that's how I enable the console or google it it's really straightforward and some knowledge of programming as usual can help but it's not a must um, if you're one of those people that you know is quite adept with maths and things like that you, you'll be more than fine doing this and um, 